Alright, I'm gonna count your Henry. Three, okay. two, one, go. Okay, so this is Hello Kitty Roller Rescue. It's a 3D action adventure game, and uh, I'm gonna be running any percent for you guys today. Uh, there's that any percent new game plus category where we play as the penguin, but uh, any percent's faster, and it's the more run category. So that's what I'll be running for you today. So um. Off the bat, you'll see uh, I'm going to be moving a lot with uh, a dash attack that Hello Kitty has. And this is this will be the fastest movement in the game. It's the fastest way to get around, and it's just what we use for most of the run. Uh, there's a lot of enemies in this game, so we need to defeat a lot of them. Uh, there's a lot of required enemies that we have to defeat and stuff. So um, you'll see me use a combo which you'll see coming up pretty soon, which is a triple B combo, and it's just the quickest way to kill pretty much every enemy. We do have another combo, which stuns enemies, but we don't really use that any at all through the run, because it's just slow. So that's the combo right there. And we're going to be getting a key right here. Uh, this is for GameCube. I'm running the GameCube version. It's also for Xbox and PC and PS2. So you saw me get a key there. Luckily all the keys in this game are not RNG. They're all set. So all the enemies in this game will always have the key, the same enemy. So that is the first level. And there's 16 levels, which includes the final boss. And uh, the first half of this game is pretty easy speedrun wise, and the second half is definitely the harder half. And it's harder casually too, so it makes sense. This game is pretty glitchless. Um, there's a few glitches I use, just a couple. Uh, there's a task only glitch, which is really cool, which we just discovered a while back. Where you, if you spin in perfect circles, uh, there's a chance that Hello Kitty will grow ginormous and just uh, speed up and clip in a certain direction. However, that's not doable RTA, at least to go to the same the direction that you want. You can spin and get Hello Kitty huge, but uh, actually going the direction you want and using it to your benefit is very hard. So you'll see the enemies with flags here. We have to defeat all the enemies with flags. Uh, that's the requirement of the level. It's a beat em up level. And then at the end right here, we're going to have to defeat all the enemies. As you see, once I defeat the enemies, they'll drop stars. These are very important to the speedrun. Uh, basically, there are uh, power-up moves. So if you see in the top uh, left, you'll see stars. And after that star meter fills up, we get a power up or special move and then after it fills up twice we get a second special move and we use these on certain occasions they take a long time to fill up so we have to use them very sparingly but uh, we use a lot of them on bosses to speed up the boss fights because they deal a lot of damage and speaking of boss fights here's our first one this is uh, probably one of the easiest bosses in the game actually it has a set pattern. It can do two different patterns depending on which way you walk. Uh, so hopefully we get the pattern that we want, which is a lot faster. It's not RNG, it's just placement based uh, where you throw. That first throw is RNG though. Okay, so we got the good pattern. We should be fine here. I want to throw that. And all you have to do is throw bombs at this one. Okay, so we got it off. As long as you get that one off, you should be good to go, and then we can defeat him. And you'll see, you might hear me pressing, uh, mashing A pretty fast on text and stuff. That's because the text in this game uh, scrolls depending on how fast you mash A. So we want to mash A as fast as we can, that way uh, the text will scroll by really fast. And also all boss uh, cutscenes are skippable, which is really nice, we don't have to watch them at all. Okay. 
So this level's RNG a bit. Uh, the keys where the enemies are aren't. Uh, so I know that that enemy always has a key. But the thing is, is um, the Ferris wheel we'll be going to is RNG depending on its placement. Okay, I'll see you later, Henki. Have a good one, yo. Okay, there we go. So, depending on uh, what RNG we get, the Ferris wheel will be at a specific spot. And we want that spot to be about uh, at the very top, is where the little guy should be. That's the best RNG. And it just saves a couple seconds versus putting him somewhere else, because the cycles get off. Okay, so we got pretty bad RNG. That's okay. We just have to wait a bit. Loses a couple seconds, but isn't that bad. Okay. Again, I know exactly what enemy to go to, because the keys are placed in exact enemies. And if you're wondering the difference between like the red enemies and the blue ones and stuff, uh, the red ones uh, take one more hit than the blue ones do. And also the red ones, uh, the blue ones will run away from you. The red ones actually uh, roll toward you, and they can attack you. And if the red ones have guns, they sometimes do. Then uh, they won't roll towards you, but they will shoot at you, so gotta be mindful of that. And that plays into account of what enemies we go to first. We normally never go for the red ones first, unless they're just in our way. We normally go for the blue or the red with guns, and uh, that just helps us later. It speeds up the fights a lot because the red ones will always roll toward you. Pots. Yeah, guns and Hello Kitty. That's violent. Okay, so this is a unique level. We have to, <laughs> get, to uh, get rid of these barrels. And the cool thing is about these barrels is there's a glitch in the game that, or not really a glitch, just a programming uh, error, I guess. They program the barrels to have a way bigger hitbox than the actual barrel. So we don't actually have to break the barrels uh, to trigger everything. All we have to do is get semi-close to breaking them, which I didn't do there apparently. And uh, then the hitbox on them will trigger. So that time I actually did hit all the barrels, I believe. Oops, no. Okay. Yeah, I did hit all the barrels. But a lot of the times, uh, especially in a good run, uh, you probably won't hit all the barrels, and you'll leave like maybe one or two just on uh, unharmed, but actually you hit their hitbox, so the level progresses. And this was pretty bad RNG on this boss. He can spawn a lot closer to me, which is really nice. He does that maybe one out of every ten times, but it's really nice when he does it. Saves like four seconds, I think. Okay, so this is our first major boss, I would say, uh, and our first major strat, maybe. Uh, as you see, we saved up all our stars from the previous levels. We haven't used a special yet. So we're going to use our second special on the boss, which is the train boss. So we're going to hit him twice with these cannons, hopefully, as long as we aim right. Okay, that should work. Yep, got him. Okay, that was a really nice hit. So then we have to hit him again here. And after we hit them again here, we want to hurry and defeat these so they don't wreck our cannon. Because they can shoot the cannon, and somehow that puts the cannon out of commission. Okay, so we need to get a last shot in on him here. And then after that, we're going to use our special. So we got that, which is really nice. 
and then when the invincibility frames wear off, we use our special. And this will get rid of three parts of his, or three blocks, which instantly defeats him. Which we call that two cycle, and that's a lot faster than just defeating him without the power ups. Okay, this is, uh, we do a little bit weird thing here. We actually are purposely going to slow down and defeat enemies here. And this will save a ton of time in the next level, or the next, the second to next level, uh, which will be a boss. And uh, we basically use all our power up on that boss, which significantly speeds up the boss fight. So it saves a lot of time. We used to not do this, but uh, then it was found I found out that it was a lot faster. Also, if you're wondering, uh, there is a couple other people that used to run this game. No one else currently runs it. And I'm the world record holder as of now. For any percent and any percent. New game plus. Okay, so we need a little bit more than this. And as long as it takes to defeat these enemies, it's still actually faster than putting three more damage in the boss. Because the next boss has like cycles where he's where you can be unharmed for a long experience, extended period of time. So uh, during those harmless uh, moments then you can't really do anything. Unless you have a special then you can harm him. Which is awesome. So we need to get all the stars here. Ah, uh, we did get them all, okay. We need to get all the stars before going into that cutscene to make sure we have our second power up. Okay, so this is Freeze Factor, and uh, it's basically a switch level. There's like six switches, I believe, maybe five. Uh, but we're going to do all the switches in reverse order, actually. And this is going to save a bunch of time. Well, not a bunch, but a few seconds. It's just overall faster to do them in reverse order than the intended way. Okay, good. I got the single jump there. And the reason we don't defeat enemies here, even though there's a lot of enemies compared to last stage, is because uh, these enemies uh, don't drop as many stars as the last ones did in the last level. So uh, we'd have to defeat way more, even though there's a lot more enemies to defeat. So it overall takes longer. Okay, so okay, I didn't get that. If you press back right after you trigger that switch, you can get a uh, one second time saver pretty much, the where you'll just fall down off the ledge, but still get the switch. And it really doesn't save that much time, but it's pretty cool to get. I know Cloaked Yoshi runs a Barbie game. I think it's for the SNES though. Okay, so this is probably one of the hardest levels to do perfectly. It's gotten a little bit easier since we uh, figured out you can use a power up on it. But it still can be pretty big level in deciding if you get a run or not. This is what I like to call the start of the actually hard levels in the speedrun. This is where runs start to die a lot. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna hopefully get rid of these guys. And. 
We want to jump on top of him, and then jump and hit him. Okay, perfect. And then we want to use our special right there. And we got it. Okay, cool. So that was pretty good boss fight, actually. We could have hit him a little bit faster, but that was that was pretty good. Okay. Please, bots. Okay, so this is the parking lot. This is another run killer. Pretty much every level after this is a run killer. Uh, so, basically there's uh, new enemies introduced in this level, ninjas. They just fire spikes and then they move along with their life. Uh, the thing is, is if you get hit by a spike, it wastes quite a bit of time. Uh, it like stuns you and knocks you down and Hello Kitty's gotta get up. And it just wastes a ton of time, so you want to uh, make sure that you do not get hit. Oh, that was really nice. Okay, I got, I got pretty good RNG there. Uh, the ninja guy actually helped me out there. He spiked uh, the big guy, the big red guy, for me, which dealt one more damage and killed him. So that was really fast. For no reason. That happens very rarely. But it's really cool when it does. It's pretty unique to like feature in this game that enemies can actually hurt other enemies. Okay, so that was bad. Okay. And you can get a glitch where the spike will hit you, but not actually deal damage to you or knock you back. And that's really nice when that happens. This is definitely not world record pace. Uh, my world record has... well, my world record is pretty decent for this game. And it also has really good RNG on a level coming up. Uh, which is really hard to get. It was perfect RNG that run. Okay, that was really good. We got good RNG there with the car. Uh, basically, we need to talk to the car after we collect the batteries. And that time, he spawned right after us, which was really nice. Okay, I'm gonna let the car defeat him. Hopefully, no, he didn't. Okay. I don't know why I trusted you, car. Okay, cool. That's the end of the level. <laughs> Okay, this was Slipple's area of danger. Uh, we skip a lot of this beginning just by double jumping there and going through, like, skip a ton of the stage right there, which is really easy to skip. Then we go to immediately to the small part. We're gonna double jump here right after we get out of this. And the cool thing is, you can double jump into cutscenes, so you get a, just a little bit more length on your. Uh, you get a little bit more distance rather than just running. And you'll see that here again. I'm going to double jump off the cliff. And it just gives you a little bit more distance to save those frames. So I'm going to be doing a glitch here. Okay, I got it. Cool. First try. Basically, I jumped off that little spinny uh, fence. And uh, you're not supposed to be able to double jump off that, but if you jump on the right frames, then you're able to, which saves about four seconds. But it's really good to get in a run. If you miss it, it wastes about a four seconds, so it wastes the time you uh, you gained. So if you miss it more than once, then it's not worth it really. But uh, it's not that hard of a glitch, so I go for it in my runs. Okay. 
Okay. So this is probably the most RNG boss in the game. It's Project Home Run. Uh, he's what we call the baseball boss. And basically you have to throw baseballs at him. But besides the first hit, uh, it's completely random whether he accepts, accepts damage or not. Okay, he accepted it there. If he bounces, he'll, uh, he'll, like, you can deal damage to him. But if he doesn't bounce in the air, then you can't deal damage. Okay, he bounced. So that's good. And he didn't bounce there. So I couldn't have dealt damage there even if I had a baseball in my hand. Oh, that was really nice. Whoa, I didn't even mean to... Wow, I sniped him. 360 no scope. That was really good. I didn't even need to fire that baseball. That was actually a pretty good baseball boss. Not the best RNG, definitely, but um, pretty good on that last throw. Okay, under construction. We used to make jokes about this being uh, actually under construction, because it's so bad that they didn't finish the level. That's just how bad this level is. Uh, it's basically the most run killer ever. Uh, basically, you have these enemies with flashlights and these spotlights, and if you get seen by one of them, uh, enemies will spawn, and you can't continue the level until you defeat all the enemies, which, as you can imagine, takes a year and a half to do. So, it's basically a dead run if you get caught anywhere in this level besides maybe the first one. I do have a 2 ability I saved up though, in case, this is kind of a backup strat, okay, which I had to use there. Kind of a backup strat, I have a 2 ability, which will automatically defeat all the enemies. Which is a really fast backup, but the main reason we don't go for that in actual runs and save that is because I would have used that on the parking lot to defeat the blue guy faster. And the spotlight's hitbox is really small, but the little guy's hitbox is actually ginormous for some reason. I don't know what they were thinking when they programmed these hitboxes. So this is how you do it if you fail. Uh, normally you'd want a perfect under construction, obviously, where you don't get enemy any enemy triggers. And again, the fastest way to defeat enemies is just this triple combo. I believe this is the last guy. Nope, one more. And he's over here in the corner. Cool. Whoop, 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 whoop. And all these, uh, all the lights and stuff are RNG in this game. So, you can't really plan out a route beforehand at all. Also, sorry for that, that was my ringtone. But, yeah. Okay, so that, I got that, so that was really nice, so. We have a $17.69 donation from Constance, who says, colon, close parentheses. That's a happy face. <laughs> nice. That brings us to a donation total of $869.69. <laughs> nice. Good donation total, guys. Okay, so this level's uh, probably one of the most beat em up levels in the game. Uh, basically, it's just a bunch of rooms where you just beat up all the enemies. And the thing about this first room, and another room we'll be going to, is there's these, these lasers. And they will turn you into a box version of Hello Kitty, where you can't attack or anything for about 10 seconds. So luckily I didn't get hit there and get turned into Box Kitty, because that wastes obviously like 10 seconds. Uh, so that's one hard part about the first level. Also, where all these enemies are, they're all RNG placed, so... They're not exactly in the same spots every time. Okay, nice. He shot him for me, which dealt one more damage to him. Okay, cool. And I'm going to be saving up this second power-up. And we're going to be using a little glitch here that lets us be able to use power-ups through walls. Basically, if you just go close to a wall, then uh, 
you'll be able to use the second power up and it'll reach enemies on the other side of the wall too which is really nice so we bypass all the danger of getting hit by one of these lasers and if we got good RNG it should defeat all these enemies yeah okay good doesn't after this we're gonna use a one power up actually on this uh, mini boss right here and this is the fastest way to defeat these guys actually we didn't use it in any other case because we had to save our uh, stars for something else but that's actually the fastest way to defeat them Okay, cool. So now we're going to the second final boss. This is another pretty hard boss stage, especially to do perfectly. It's probably the hardest to do perfectly. Um, basically there's cycles on the boss uh, where he'll let you damage you. And uh, ideally you want to get three damage on him for each cycle and then get a two cycle. But it's really hard to because, uh, well I'll show you later. But this first part's just really easy actually. You just throws lasers and def uh, he destroys all these things around him. There you go. I guess this is the last one. Then we want to spam the mash text after this. Okay, so after this he's gonna uh, shoot about a couple lasers. And then we're going to try to get a damage glitch here where we push the barrel. Okay, we didn't get it. Where we push the barrel and then uh, we don't get any damage from it. That's not what happened, but it can happen if you time it right. Okay. So we didn't get three there, but that's fine. Basically, sometimes if you push two barrels at the same time or very quickly after each other, he'll sometimes take two barrels and only take one damage from both of them. I don't know why that is. It's just way the game works. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna push this one. So we're gonna get a three cycle here, which is fine. Okay. Uh hey Maddie, you might want to look in the other folder of Twitch, yeah. Okay, so this will end the boss. There we go. So that's the end of the second final boss. And that's pretty much most of the run right there. Now all we have is the final boss left, which is really easy. Uh, it doesn't really do anything. So it's, it's probably the easiest boss. So most of the time, if you get a run here, uh, your run is almost near complete. So now, uh, basically how this final boss works is we just have to stop him from getting to the house uh, before the timer. Uh, actually, we just have to stop him getting from the house. And we want our timer to fill up on the right hand side all the way to the top, all the way to 100. And once we do that, then uh, we'll end time. So Time's coming up in maybe like four minutes or so. And if you have any donations, this is a good time to read them. And I'll be running this game at uh, SGDQ this year in July, so, and uh, 
I believe I'm on Thursday with this game. Something like that. It'd be really fun. And if you guys are interested, uh, there's no tutorials for this game currently. I was thinking of coming up with one pretty soon on how to learn it, but currently there's no tutorials. But if you want help with this game, just like message me on Twitch or tweet me out or something, and I'll be sure to help you guys. There's a uh, schedule, Lucario, in the description, I believe. Dude, I'm really hyped for this game, actually. This is a chill boss, though. It's a pretty chill boss. As hype as this game is, the final boss is pretty chill. Which is nice. The most hype boss is probably halfway through, which we already checked. I uh, already went to. Okay, so I'm gonna defeat all these boxes real quick. And there's no point in using special abilities on the final boss. It just kind of uh, lags the boss out. So we don't want to use that. Normally I would go lag reduce here, but since it's a marathon, that's just boring. So we just want to wait till this boss goes to the end. But we don't want him to get to the end. And right now we're out of bombs, uh, so all we can do is wait till he goes to the second part of the level, which is the cannon section. Hey Jeff, how's it going? Okay, so he's almost there, and once he goes here, then we'll start using the cannons to slow him down. Basically, we don't want him anywhere near the house at the end. Okay. And fire that. Okay, cool. And we're gonna get Box Kitty here just for fun. Because we can't get it anywhere else in the game. So, uh, there's Box Kitty, guys. And Box City doesn't really slow down this part, it's just kind of cute little thing because uh, you don't have to constantly throw stuff at this boss because he's just slow. So Box City hype guys. But we definitely don't want Box City the whole uh, final boss because then he will uh, defeat us and win. So time is coming up in just a little bit guys by the way. Okay. And the difference between uh, those normal guns, which we see throughout the game, and these watermelon guns over here, because these ones are like machine guns kind of, I'll show you. But unfortunately we don't see these machine guns anywhere else used in the game, which kind of sucks. They're really cool, but I guess the developers didn't want to use them for other bosses or anything. Which is really unfortunate. Okay, I need to stop getting cap box cat. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Okay, so time is in just a second. We're almost there. Oh, the cat bag hype. 90. So, uh, as you saw, 90 just popped up on the screen there. So when it goes to 100, then uh, that is when time will be. And actually, we have time to get another box, kitty. So... Almost there. Almost. We Fox Kitty one last time. And yeah, Box Kitty can only jump. There we go, that's time. Uh what was my time? So. Are you like cut out there? If anyone's so here. It stopped at about five seconds late. What? Oh, okay. Uh, 33.55, but I think you were trying to tell me to stop at 52. Oh, okay. That's not too bad of a run. Sub-34 is actually a pretty good run. So, uh, that's Hello Kitty Roller Rescue, any percent for you guys. And, uh, up next I'll be doing Super Win the Game, I guess.
Okay, so Super won the game if you don't know. Uh, I'm just going to explain it while I'm getting it ready. Uh, it's a independent uh, platformer game. 